I'm Kristen Arnett, and for over a decade, I've worked in the beauty industry, both in product development and as a freelance makeup artist, traveling to some of the most glamorous destinations around the world for both photo shoots and runway shows. But over the years, I became increasingly concerned about what's in all that makeup. So I began wondering, what dangers lie in the seemingly innocent cosmetics bag? The average woman uses 168 different ingredients on a daily basis and over her lifetime she will ingest four pounds of lipstick. Many companies have started reformulating their cosmetics to remove lead, phthalates, and parabens. Why? Because studies are showing that those ingredients, among others, are posing some serious health risks. My mission today? To convert one woman's makeup bag and set her on the path to safer beauty. I was wondering if we could take a look at what's in your makeup bag. Sure. So we have Powder foundation, yeah. uh, bronzer, yep. concealer, and uh, is this cream blush? Yes. Mascara, and of course, a lip gloss. Of course. And uh, lipstick. Do you have any idea what ingredients are in your makeup? Nope. So, my Green Beauty team did some fast calculations, and just in these seven products, there are over 170 ingredients, 60 of which can be harmful to your body. So how would you feel about replacing all of these products with similar things that are just as effective, more natural, and better for you? I love it. So I have some products here. Would you mind holding the bag? Sure. First, I'm gonna replace your concealer with one by 100% pure. Then I'm gonna replace your bronzer with one by 100% pure also. I'm going to give you a new loose powder foundation from Gentle Essence. I'm also going to give you a new cream blush Ooh. by Revolution Organics, yeah. a brand new lip gloss from Primitive, a lipstick from Primitive as well, and an all natural mascara from Zuzu Lux. So now, just with these products, you've gone from 170 ingredients. 60 of which before were probably dangerous to you, to only 89 ingredients in these, none of which are considered harmful. So why don't you give your new lip gloss a try? Thank you. This is great. So what do I do with my old lip gloss? Well, why would you keep using something that was harmful for you? Just throw it out. So I'm going to leave you with a list of the 10 most harmful ingredients to avoid. So the next time you go to the store, you can make safer and smarter choices. So for all of you at home, the ingredients to watch out for are parabens, formaldehyde, synthetic fragrances and colors, DEA and TEA, sodium lauryl sulfate, propylene glycol, PVP VA copolymer, diazolindyl urea, petroleum, mineral oil, and triclosan.